Hey guys, this is Melissa here, and today I wanted to talk a little bit about custom tabs on your Facebook fan page. Um, they're definitely a really good asset to have, and they make your page look uniform, and they can potentially make your page look super unique. So, here's my page, and here is my tabs. Once you expand them, you can see them all. Facebook gives you 16 tabs. And the only ones that really can't be edited are the events, the likes, and the photos. Those pictures remain the same, but you can easily change your other tab images just by clicking on the edit pencil, editing the settings, and then here you can change the name. And you would, if you were to change that, you'd want to hit save after you do it. And then here's where you can change the image. And it'll pop up into a new page where your image is there. And you just click the edit and upload another image. You'll want to make sure that your images are 111 by 74. That's the only size that will fit in there. And if you'll notice, I added a ton of tab pictures into the team group yesterday. So you can all have these same custom tabs. So that's how you change your tab image. Let's talk about how you actually go about installing these tabs. I actually have a mock page opened up so that I can easily show you. What you'll want to do is go to the search bar and search static HTML. I've already done that and I have it opened up over here. I like these ones that say the second tab, third tab, and so far. So what I would do is I would just click on this and it's going to take me to the app and ask me what page I would like to install it on. So yes, I would like to add a static HTML tab to my page. Here I can choose which page to use it on. Because my tab's are already full on my page, I can't put it on there, so I'm going to do it on the mock page. And then I'm going to confirm that yes, I do want to put a tab onto that page. So now we have one tab installed on our page. And we can look at it just by scrolling down. There it is, the welcome to. We can go in and edit the name. It, we could change it to, let's, let's change it. To, to edit it though, you have to make sure all your tabs are expanded. Click the pencil, edit the settings. Let's make it my blog. Save. Let's change the image. We will choose a file. And notice that your file size can be no more than five megabytes. So. go into visit my blog perfect and that's it we just close this tab click OK and it's immediately changed now if you want to change the content this is what you Going to, you're going to want to click on click onto the tab and it will give you the edit options. Okay, because I already had this set up as... Okay, just a second. Okay, so actually I had edited this tab earlier when I was doing my first walkthrough on this video. So I've already got it linked to my website, but basically I'm going to show you how these tabs work. Once you get your tab installed, below where you see my web page will be blank, and you'll go to edit tab. Now it's going to bring up the options. Right now I have it set on website, but you can just go to change app. And you'll see the different options. I'm actually going to be posting a link to a drop and drag editor that you don't have to pay for that's completely free so you would use that on the static HTML settings if you just click use static HTML app 
and we'll bring it up to the static section and usually there will be a little print here that will kind of explain a little tiny bit about what you do basically you just put your coding in here or whatever text that you want displayed there's not a lot of options you cannot upload images because that's a premium feature so you ha the best way to do it is with this drop and drag editor that I use you can actually go to my page on the welcome tab and you can see one of the older page layouts I did with the drop and drag actually I'm gonna go in there and edit it so I'll show you some new ones later and hopefully maybe have some some team templates going we'll see but so that's basically you can go and you can change it back to the website or you can link it to YouTube or a form, a location, PayPal, etc. So that this is where I would use the YouTube too, like if you wanted to have your YouTube up there, so I do on mine. Um, and that's basically it. The website's really easy. We can just use it as a website. You can link it to any outside page. You could link it to your Shakeology page. Um, you could pretty much link it to anything. So the options are open. I know on one of mine, I have it linked to um, all the posts on my page that have the label sale. So the sale tab on my page is linked to all the sale posts I publish on my blog. So I think that makes it a little easier for me. So it's super easy. You can do that. If you remove the scroll bars, you can edit how the how the page is actually displayed within the tab. You can adjust the width. You can adjust the height. Um, you, you can do a lot to it. But I don't know why it's taking forever. But anyways, so you can, that's how you can change the size and the way that it looks. My computer's being a little slow today, so I apologize for that. I'm just going to go ahead and allow the scroll bars. We'll save it and publish it. And then to add another tab to my page, I would just hit the plus sign up here while I'm in the tab that I'm editing and then add more tabs to this page and it brings up the list of available tabs we've already we just added the second tab so let's go ahead and add the third tab and it's going to go through that again with me um, of choosing which page I want it on I'm going to do it on the mock page again and then I'm going to confirm yes I do want it there okay there is an error so let's just go with let's go with fourth tab for right now we'll come back to that one later put it on the mock page confirm yes we do want it there so now we go back to our page and the new tab will be there right there welcome for basically the same same concepts of we can put YouTube in there, we can put website links in there, we could build our own custom tab, but we can do a lot to this. It's right now it's set on static HTML, so if I were to do a custom one, I would just put my coding in here from my builder and I would be good to go. So to add another page, we do this another tab, we just do the same exact thing, more options, add more tabs to this page. Super simple. The other pages are a little bit different. Um, let's go to, okay, so Pinterest, you would actually go to Pinterest page app. You would choose your Facebook page. Okay, it's not showing it on here, but so I would choose a Facebook page that I wanted it on, and then it would ask me my details. The same as um, Twitter's the same way, Twitter tab. I would just install the application, 
Uh, it's going to ask me to choose a page. I'm going to pick the BBB big. I'm going to add the Twitter tab. And then there you see Twitter on there. Now once you click on it, you'll have to upload all, you know, input your details so it links it to your Twitter account. So that's kind of a given. Because I'm already signed in, I think it already linked to mine, but okay. <laughs> but the same goes for Instagram. Um, right here, add Instagram feed tab. It asked me what page I wanted it on. And now it pulls up my login details. So you would just input your details, login. You would authorize it. And then we're back to the page. Now the same goes for um, the Pinterest, like I said, you can put on Pinterest, Instagram, Twitter, uh, Estate, Etsy shop. There's a lot of different tabs that you can put on there um, that you actually have to go to the app. Like most social media sites have their own app, so you would have to search for their app. And then you'll notice that you just drop your box down and look there you go you got an Instagram so it's basically the same for all of the social sites the custom ones you just input a link to your where you want the your directional navigation where you want that tab to take the person or you can input your own so that is the gist of putting custom tabs onto your Facebook page. I hope this is super helpful for you and I hope it can help streamline your page to make it more successful. Thanks guys, have a good day.